welcome to our Long Beach Carnival Panorama Cruise Vlog Series. Guys, we're in California. Yeah. So this is my first time in California. We flew in from Dallas yesterday, and then we went and did like a whole thing. I'll insert some pictures that we took. We went to the Santa Monica Pier when it was foggy AF, and then we went and ate some tacos, yeah. and then we went to Porto's Bakery. And, and we were in LA traffic. Yes. Do not recommend, zero out of 10. I gave it two points because the roads are in good condition. Anyway, so this morning we got up and we went on our hot girl walk. So we got our little latte, we went on a little walk. Here's some pictures from that. You know, we did the tourist thing. And then we did something a little crazy, y'all. So you know how we're always looking for budget ways to get places, right? So we walked here from the Enterprise where we dropped off our rental car so that we spent zero dollars getting over here. Now there is a better way than walking on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. So you can take the passport bus that picks you up. I think it would have only been a three minute walk for the rental car, but for y'all, we wanted to walk it in case you get in on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you know? And I just wanted to walk across the bridge. So it did take us like 50 minutes, but we did get a little lost. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert the footage of us getting over here now. Pastor Dan, hit it. Hey guys, so we did not tell you that we had to go essentially where we dropped off a car. We went straight through, there were some little apartments there, straight through the apartments. And then we went straight through the mall that was right across the street from the apartment. Straight through there. And then we went to Shoreline Drive. And went across there. Okay, so here's the aquarium. There's Will. And here's Shoreline Drive. So you're going to come across Shoreline Drive. And you're going to follow the footprints. We came by the parking for the aquarium and now we're we, you're gonna see the bridge okay, so you see there's a sidewalk where are my fingers that goes here and then we're gonna get on the bridge we think yeah so let's see if that's it okay so see the bike lane there's gonna be an entrance where you go up a ramp that enters into this bike lane but what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to continue around on a sidewalk. There's one again. And then you go up these stairs to come here. How illegal is it? How illegal is it to just walk up the bike ramp to the sidewalk? I don't know. It'd probably be easier than carrying up the stairs. But once you get up here, there's a nice sidewalk all the way across. Both sides. Uh, we, I can see a little entrance from over here. So, you know, either yeah, side. Yeah, either side. Yeah, but let's let's go cross the bridge. This is pretty cool, guys. Okay, so we're on the bridge up here. And then you go down here, and there's a ramp that goes right through here. And then you cross the street, and then you're on the waterfront. And there's a sidewalk all the way down the waterfront, I think. So we're gonna keep going and see if we get to the ship. Here's a little marina little area, but. So this is the Hotel Maya. So you gotta come all the way around the Hotel Maya. And then once you get through that, you're gonna see the passport sign that Will was just showing you. So. You guys can read that, but it's a little bus stop sign. So on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays, you can ride the passport from 
on the other side of the bridge over here and then you don't have to walk across the bridge and it's completely free. Why did we walk? I just wanted to. You want to see sights? I wanted to walk across the bridge. But this is what the sign looks like. You can, you can see, see it. it, it's really bright. Yeah. So we're almost to the Queen Mary. We'll let you know if there's a closer passport stop. All right, so we've got another passport sign right here. And this is right in front of the Queen Mary. And so this is gonna be the closest one, I think, for you to get off the cruise ship, stand here and take the free ride. Remember, only Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Look at the Queen Mary. You can stay on there. I think it's hotel only though. It's not a cruise ship, sorry guys. Well, it used to be, but it doesn't go anywhere now. All right, so now we're here. So we, we got a little excited and we didn't cruise coming in the cruise terminal. But the cruise terminal is the dome building. That's where you're gonna end up going into. I didn't know that. I just saw the ship and I was like, get me Go there. towards the ship. Right, so we, we got to the ship, we got checked in, everything's cool. Now remember guys, if you guys partake, in THC, any marijuana stuff, leave it at home. They have dogs here sniffing the bags, doing the whole thing. So don't forget, you cannot bring that on a cruise. It might be legal in California, but it's not legal in the ocean currently. So just a heads up, don't bring it. Um, but yeah, we're just waiting to check in. And um, I'm so excited. We love the Vista Class ship. So Carnival Panorama is the newest one and we're excited to get on it. And we're gonna take the passport on the way back. So. Yeah. All right, we'll see you guys when we're getting on the ship, okay? Bye! Hello, guys. So, we are heading up. Um, Going up the ramp. We had a little bit of a delay. They didn't start boarding until about 11, 30, 30 yeah. 35. So, let's see so, what time it is now. 11.41. Okay, so, yeah, so we're finally coming up. We were A6. Yeah, so we're pretty close to the beginning of the regular boarding. So yeah. We're going up the ramp, and it's, it's kind of a steep ramp. Yeah, it's a very steep ramp. So, be careful. All right, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye. We're so close. We're so close to the ship. This is a lot of people, and yeah, here's the Jordan. Hi. Oh, no. See that look at all that food getting loaded fuel everything we're on the ship we can do the, the usual step on because they, they were I think moving a dead scooter so yeah so remember to charge your scooters if you're gonna bring them because they may have to remove them if they're too big, too bulky, what? Uh, yeah, we're on the ship. Hello there. We just got done with lunch. Yeah, it was good. We had the barbecue, it was really good. It was better than it has been in the past. Yeah. What so, was your favorite thing? My favorite thing, oh, pork, pork definitely. No, no, actually the sausage, sausage is really good. You've been really into sausage lately. Really. I know, I really like sausage. I liked the brisket and the sausage and the pork and the chicken and the mac and cheese. Yeah. So most of the things. I liked everything. I think the only thing we didn't try was the greens. Yeah, I don't really like greens all the time, so meh. We didn't try the potato salad either. Oh, that's true. But they yeah. were like wedges. Yeah, they're like big chunks of potatoes. I don't really care for it. But we're just waiting on the ship for our room to be ready. And I think someone might go upstairs and try to fight the buffet yeah. to get the funfetti yeah. cheesecake. That's my favorite cake on Carnival. So we'll see. We'll see what we get up to. But yeah, we're just waiting, waiting for the room. Oh, so if you guys don't know, tip, come to uh, Pig and Anchor. Yeah, deck on, five. On deck five, if you are on a Vista Class cruise ship, because it is open for lunch, and you have to mess with the mad rush to the Lido deck. So. so it's on the breeze too, so it's on the dream class as well. Oh, okay. So. Uh, I don't know. 
whatever ship has the guy picking anchor, it is our open on embarkation day. But you know, everybody knew today there was a line. There usually well, isn't. And you can also do uh, noodles or pasta, pasta bar. Yeah, that's on that's deck on 11. Lake. Deck yeah. 11, yeah. yeah on I think that Gigi's is open today too. Okay, yeah. We haven't really got on the app and looked at anything. This yeah. is just from memory from the Vista. Yeah. Okay, well, we're just going to be waiting. And we'll let you guys see our room when we get to our room because it's a different kind of room. Can you guess what kind of room we got? Let's find out. See you soon. Hello there. So we want to give you guys a little update. We got the suites. Um, the funfetti is only on embarkation. So go ahead and get that for your cruise. Um, like, like we said before, the buffet is very full, very, very full up there. So if you want to, and if you're on the classes that actually provide it, it's easier to go to the uh, noodle bar that's on 11, which was, looked like, it didn't look like there was a line. And then you can also go to Pick and Anchor if they have it, or Gigi's if it's open as well. So just keep in mind to go to those emptier places if you don't like crowds. If you like the crowds, go ahead and go to the buffet, it's fine. Okay, back to the Jordan. Tell you guys in a little bit. I know Will already talked to you about this cake, but it's so good. See, it's the Funfetti. It's only on embarkation day. I know he told you that already. And then this is cheesecake, and this is Funfetti cake. Oh, it's so good. I touched it. Anyways, I'm going to eat it now. Okay, bye. All right, we are at our room. I'm going to give you a tour. We're in the one, two, eight, one this time. This is an ocean view room. So come on, let's check it out. It was tap. Oh, it's fancy. All right, we're starting the room tour at the necessary information on your door. Then we're gonna rotate to our right, and you're going to see a door here. Come to that way. Then we have some closets here. What do we have in the closets, Will? Um, uh, hang up clothes. Two kind of sets of hang up. Like for pants, jeans, there's dress hang up right there. Dress hang up? Okay, what's in the third window? It's gonna be the other side. Open up the other side. And <gasps> shelves in your safe and drawers. I love the drawers. Maybe. And it doesn't open. Well, that drawer opens. We'll fix it. Drawers. I don't know what he was doing. It's me. It was but that me. drawer it's works me. fine. I don't know. Shelf, shelf, shelf. I think this is going to be the fridge. fridge. That is. Now remember, this is just a cooler. It's yes. not a refrigerator. You cannot. Will's head's in your view, but. Sorry, I was trying to see if there's a turning turning dial to make it cooler. There's okay, so enough. you got a phone and you got your papers, notably a pencil instead of a pen. And a hair dryer in the drawer. And you have your wine glasses. We already got our water bottles. Remember, these are for price. These are for four twenty five a piece. Four twenty five a piece. Alright. And your mirror? Mm, I think this mirror turns on, doesn't it, Will? Um, yeah, I think it does. Look at that. A lit mirror. Oh, and then our, we have two Oh yeah, USB, two USBs. And two, then plugs. two plugs. And it's a high power USB. Oh, it's fancy. High power. All right. And what do we have in here? Jordan's favorite accessory to any room. This is a couch. I think it's a pull-out couch from what I can tell. Yeah, but we'll just use it as a couch. Yeah. You got some artwork above the couch. Mm -hmm. And then you got the bed here. The suitcases are not included. Suitcases are not included. we got a little drawers down here, or cabinets down here. Yeah. Same on the other side. All right, there's a TV. Now the TV is just in front of the bed. It's not really in front of the couch. Will, does that pull out or swivel or tilt or anything? It does not. It does not. We are not gonna pull it off the wall today. All right. And then what else do we have here? Now, our, our backpacks are here. We hid them from you guys. We were trying to be, but here, one, two, three. We have an ocean view. 
And I love these little shelves here. I love to hide things here, like backpacks and you know, other things. And um, towel animals. Yep. And then we have, this is the view we have currently. It looks like the crew's getting on board here. Yep, yep. Some new crew, maybe? Maybe, some, yeah, maybe some new crew. They went to Ross. Got some clothes. All right. They need. So now we're going to take you back to those the door that we didn't show you earlier. Hmm. Are there two doors right here next to each other? Why would there be two doors? Well, it's because we have two restroom areas. Sort of. Two bathrooms. Okay, so the first bathroom that's immediately beside the couch, we have a bathtub and a sink. So you can have two people getting ready at the same time. Okay, well, let's behind door number two. Door number two. Door number two is your regular standard carnival bathroom. You guys have all seen it before. Toilet, shower, vanity with storage on both sides. I feel like this looks a little bit bigger. Maybe a little bigger. No, maybe a little bigger. You have your thermostat here, so you can adjust it how you want it. So there you go. Your snoozing sign. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much it, guys. So we're going to get unpacked, and we will see you guys when there's something to see. Yeah. All right, we're just wandering around. This is the Havana Bar. They have live music in here, and there's a bar at the other end. Good seating. Yeah, they have some domino tables here. You can tell if you're done up if you hit the table. Real hard. We're gonna go up to the Lido deck now. So we always take the stairs. And Will usually talks to you on the stairs. Sorry, we have to hit 20,000 of this cruise. I mean, not no. this, today. Today. Not for the whole cruise. That was really exhausting last time. Okay, Just we'll see you on Lido. Bird. You guys see it? You guys see the bird? to you from the carnival in it. Panorama. We're just slinging it, it gets like sauce on it. show uh, so we are just going to hopefully have a great time this cruise so the show was really good um, took some shots of us leaving so yeah hope we have a good time Hi. well hello there so we just did sail away and I took some videos of it so yeah. I'll put that in but... you might see me in there sorry I tried to talk. It didn't go too well. So. Oh, it was just. So we're on our way to go to the room because we're going to change my shoes because I don't know why I feel weird wearing these sandals to dinner, but I do. So we're, we're going to change my shoes and then we're going to wait till it's time to check in for dinner. And then we're going to. But well, I mean, dining room tonight. 5 30. Yeah. 5 30. Always. I think it's what, 10 minutes before? Five. You can start checking in five minutes before 5.30. Yeah. So, yeah. check in real quick and then they get you in really quick. Yeah, so we'll be in the app dining room okay. because we're my time. Yeah. And then it's midship. 
for the for the, the sign time yeah yeah so i'm gonna put the menu in right here and then i'm gonna show you guys what we got i'm gonna give you a little hint i'm gonna get the szechuan shrimp because it's delicious and i had it the last the unvlogged cruise that i just went on the unvlogged cruise and it was really good wait we went too far oh we did we, we passed the room okay, we will talk back. to you guys we'll talk to you guys later because we can't walk and talk all right bye just so you guys can see our view that we get while we're moving. It's like we're on the ocean. Yeah, it's right there, look at that. We are in deck one, so don't mind our dirty, dirty window, it's okay. I'll leave there on the inside, she's dirty on the outside. Here is our staff. And some info there. You got some. You can look at the QR codes, see what we're eating tonight. Yeah, or it's available on your app. Yes, yeah, it's always available on your app. And we're at 716. And we bring our little drinks. So you can do that if you want to. Yep. We'll get some ice. Yeah, we'll get ice. Okay. Okay, bye for now. We'll show you some pictures. So, this is not one portion of the shrimp. This is two because I got excited and started combining them. This yeah. is my favorite. Okay, so Szechuan shrimp. It looks like this and it tastes delicious. See? Yeah. Okay, just, just a, a PSA. Oh, hello? Hi, we just got done with dinner. Yeah. And we popped into a karaoke, which was yeah. really good. Yeah, because we were, we saw our friends sit over there, so we ran over there just to pop in on them. Yeah. And then it was like a whole family of like stars. <laughs> the whole family of great singers. They even like like went off together in song. It was great. Yeah, it was great. That was good. We'll have to, we're gonna have to check out some more karaoke. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, we spotted a spirit jersey in the shop, so we're gonna go check that out. So we'll show you kind of what's in the shop. Yeah. Like, all right, let's go. First stop, this one. Authentic. Look, guys, look what I got. Yeah, so we bought a spirit jersey. Yeah. In our this actual is, spirit jersey. This is the front and this is the back. I've been really wanting a spirit jersey from Carnival because I have my Royal one and I have my Disney World one. And this one is actual spirit jersey brand it says. So that's what I was wanting because they're like oversized. So I got this in a large. Yeah, it's a large. It's a very big shirt. I would normally, this shirt is in an extra large that I have right now because I like them to be like big, you know? Mm -hmm. So, um, I'm super excited. I, it was sixty-five dollars. Yeah. So these are always kind of pricey. I'm I'm actually surprised it wasn't a little bit more because I feel like the last one I got was sixty-five. Mm -hmm. So. And then like, the world shut down. Well, it was after the world shut down. Oh yeah, sure. My Disney World one I got at the outlet, so it was I think it was thirty. Yeah. So I mean, and I mean I've been wearing my Disney World one since we went in twenty nineteen. Mm -hmm. So. And it's way too big for me. You went in the Royal Caribbean one too a long time. No, like I got in 2021. Over and over and over. Yeah. So this one's dark blue. I didn't want a light color because I'm kind of messy. So this is perfect. And I am so excited. This is way too much talking about my spirit jersey. So on to talking about dinner. All right. Time to talk about dinner. Okay. So we went to the main dining room tonight. I think you told you guys that. And. I got the mixed green salad thing. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. With. I asked them for the red wine vinaigrette that goes with the 
Cobb salad because I had that last time and it was really good. And then I got two orders of the Szechuan shrimp. They are so good. I don't know what to tell you guys. It's my favorite thing I've ever had on Carnival. Ever. Ever. It's so good. And it's served with like those little glass noodle type things with vegetables. And then I had some cheesecake for dessert. It was whatever. <laughs> it's okay. Um, just so if you guys hear crying baby, baby's kids, we're just on a loud floor. So we're sorry for that. Yeah, I didn't know deck one was going to be like the um, screaming child floor, but apparently it is. I thought that would be deck two with the uh, family harbor. And then uh, another thing. So she's uh, asked for an augmentation to her meal. That's not, not going to, they're usually going to say no to that. So if it's on something else, you may get a yes. Uh -huh. But what they have on the menu is probably what they have in stock. Yeah. So it's kind of hard to get substitutions mine was just a or things like that. So yeah. Because they don't so, put their dressing on the salads. That salad, because you get to pick your dressing. It was just, I wanted the dressing that was on the entree salad. And honestly, I would have got the entree salad, but you know, tough choices had to be made. I couldn't get the entree salad and two of the Szechuan shrimp. Because you can't get three entrees anymore. Because they charge you. I could have, but they would have charged me. Yeah. And so I just got the regular, regular salad. I had plenty of food. Yeah. The Szechuan shrimp this time, I think, was actually bigger than last time. Good. So, okay, what I had. Yeah, so I had the uh, uh, Caesar, Caesar salad, salad. Mm -hmm. yeah. which is good. Um, not very anchovy forward. So That's if you good. guys don't like anchovies, you should probably try it. Because the carnival Caesar salad usually is too anchovy. -y. Mm -hmm. It's pretty pretty mild. Well, maybe they changed the recipe. Maybe. And then for entrees, I also had two. I got the uh, short rib. That's short rib. And I got the, uh, uh, what is it? The Indian, 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 vegetarian. Indian vegetarian. It had like an eggplant curry. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. Rice and then like a, a coconut and carrots and pea kind of. Curry. It was like curry. a curry. Yeah. It was sweet. It was like a sweet curry. Mm -hmm. And then it had like some, I'm talking about your food. It was like rice, like jasmine rice, mm -hmm. but it was like sauteed with like onions and stuff. Yeah, it, it was good. Like. The rice is good. I couldn't eat all, but the rice is good. I took a little bite out of all of them to try it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they don't serve the featured Indian vegetarian like they used to. So you'll see in the picture, it just all comes on one plate. Used to, you would get two different plates with it. And like multiple little cups. Yeah, and you have like all these different little bowls and it was kind of like, a lot. it was a lot, it was a lot, but it was really good. The Indian food on cruise ships is always so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. And then for desserts, I had the uh, signature molten lava cake thing. So I don't like mine underdone. So I and we know it, a lot of people like it that way. Yeah, I, 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 so I didn't eat a lot of it. I just ate kind of the outsides and the ice cream, and that was about it. Uh mm huh. -hmm. I ate my cheesecake. It was good. The cheesecake is probably my favorite dessert on Carnival's mm -hmm. menu. So maybe this night is my favorite menu. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So the first night, my favorite. I didn't love the feast menu on the last cruise I was on. Um, I mean, they have the prime rib, and I like prime rib, but I don't know. It gets, you have it so many times, it gets to be a little boring. So I don't know, tomorrow maybe we'll go to Gigi's or maybe. do something different for dinner. Yeah. Yeah, so that's all about dinner. I'm still so excited about my spirit jersey. And that's like the highlight of my cruise. And I got the Panorama bin, mug. the mug, mm -hmm. the vessel series. So now I have the Vista and the Panorama. Mm -hmm. So now we have to book a cruise on the horizon so I can get that yeah. one. So if you guys know, is it only, sorry, is it only on the Vista and the Margra and the XL class? Yeah, because I didn't find one on the Breeze when I went on my secret cruise that I didn't bring you guys on. Secret cruise. Yeah. But I w really would like one from every ship. And I thought they were going to do one from every ship. Because that's kind of what I was going to collect when we go on cruises are yeah. these mugs. Because, one, I can use them. Two, like, they're really cute. Like, I'll show you guys the mug later. Because I've already put it in the suitcase so that it didn't get lost, forgotten, or broken. So it's put away in a safe location. Yeah. But anyways, I 
gosh, what are we going to do? We're going to go do some trivia. Mm -hmm. We're going to watch some comedy. Yep, yep. We're going to go to the Welcome Aboard show, I think. Maybe. Maybe stay there for a little bit. I'm just so tired. Maybe we'll make it. Maybe we won't. Everyone, if you've been on Carnival before, you understand why you probably wouldn't go to Welcome Aboard show It's the same again. every time. The only thing is we don't know this cruise director. Yeah. And I'd like to learn a little bit more about him. Yeah and see kind of like what his personality is because he seemed like pretty cool at mm -hmm. the solo away party um so i'm interested to learn more about jerry yeah because he's the cruise director yeah so man it's just the first day on a cruise you know it's always run run go go busy busy mm -hmm. um let's get a step count in here i'm at eighteen thousand five hundred, so i think we're gonna hit that 20,000 yeah. tonight and I can tell you going up the stairs is rough. My legs are tired. <laughs> we haven't been in an elevator. We walked here. We walked. And one deck one. So we do go up. Yeah, but we got this cool room. Y'all saw it earlier. Like this. This room is pretty neat. I mean, I was on deck eight. My favorite deck on this. So deck eight is my favorite deck on the Vista class. And that's because normally it's deck seven, but deck six has like the kid stuff. And so it's they're just loud that's all but it's loud here too so yeah. but these are at least like littles that are being loud which is fine they they probably just need a moment yeah also um we're going to attempt laundry oh yeah so we'll let's do that let's go on a hunt for the laundry machine and then we've got to go to trivia because we said we would get seats yeah so okay so hunt, laundry hunt water refill mm -hmm. and go okay bye all right, so we found the laundrette on deck one. It's right under, right, Will, Will is the laundry man. So here's the laundrette. We're gonna go in here. All right, so you come in and you got a couple sinks here. So you could do some hand washing here and then wash your hands. And then you've got some soap and then you have three setups. So you've got three sets of washers and dryers. It is three fifty for each thing, so you got three fifty for a wash and three fifty for a dry, and then here's the soaps that they have. So I mean, I think this would be good. And that will serve all. Yeah. And there's some iron stuff, but I think there's yeah. Iron. No, there's not iron. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, the iron does get really busy on formal night because people are ironing their formal night attire, but. Um, if you come in now, this is the first night of the cruise. If you wanted to do it, there's nobody in here. So maybe to, maybe tonight's the night. But we're going to try doing some laundry this cruise. So, so it would be like seven bucks to do a load. Because I think we're just going to do one. Because we just, we just brought like enough stuff. Like underclothes for five, five days. days. Yeah, five or six days. And then we were just going to wash halfway through so that we had have more stuff. So. All right, we are going to go to trivia. It is one hit wonder trivia tonight. So, so we're going to see how we do on that. And why are you so blurry? I don't know. <laughs> All right, and I'm going to stop in the room and get my jacket because I'm already a little bit chilly. So I'm going to get my jacket. So, All right, well, we will let you know how we do in trivia. Thank you. 